my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we have two pieces of news for The Mandalorian, nothing too major but they are very exciting nonetheless. Before I get into it guys, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button if you've not done so. We are currently on the road for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the incredible support, this community is simply amazing. But without much further ado and without any more jibber jabber, let's talk about The Mandalorian. So we're going to kick things off with a Moff Gideon update. In a brand new interview with Variety, Giancarlo Esposito was asked if Moff Gideon's coming back for season 3. And while of course he had to say that he can't confirm anything concrete, it's pretty much a certainty. As I covered on my channel a few weeks ago, Giancarlo Esposito posted on Twitter, teasing some kind of revenge that Moff Gideon will have in season 3. As we saw in chapter 16, which of course was the big season 2 finale with Luke, Moff Gideon was disarmed by Cara Dune and is currently under arrest by the New Republic. But we can't underestimate the Imperial Remnant and Moff Gideon's return to action is going to be swift. We must also remember that there may be more enemies for the Mandalorian lurking in the shadows. In essence, Moff Gideon might not be the only one, but he certainly will be returning next year. So let's hear what Giancarlo Esposito had to say in his own words, and this clip is courtesy of variety. So let's talk Mandalorian. Are we going to see you back next season? Uh, I have to imagine you would. I can't speak for them, but I know I have desire. Um, and I think we need to see Moff to continue the story and to continue the pressure that and the edge that um, someone with the big brain that Moff has thinks about. So I could almost guarantee it, but you know, there's there's never a guarantee. But you know. You'll see me, baby. Come on. So now, my dear friends, we're going to move on to the second piece of Mandalorian news, and this comes from MakingStarWars.net. A couple of days ago, they traveled down to the set of The Mandalorian and took some exterior set photos. According to their report yesterday, it appears as though Lucasfilm have added trees to whatever planets they're about to film on. It was first believed that the planet was Navarro, but now that trees have been added, more and more so, including trees which look very similar to the ones on Corvus, we just don't know. What we do know is that filming for the series is set to begin this coming Monday and it's going to last until the end of March next year. So we can expect the show to drop sometime next winter, probably in the typical October release window. But before The Mandalorian drops, my dear Megalorians, we of course have Star Wars Visions next and then in December of this year, we've got The Book of Boba Fett. Now while we are going to see Tomorrow Morrison's return this December, he might be returning to Star Wars sooner than we think because he's going to reprise the role as Boba Fett's voice in Star Wars Visions. So from what we know so far, Star Wars Visions is going to be nine short stories based on various aspects of the Star Wars universe, and one of those is going to be titled Tatooine Rhapsody, and that's the one that's going to bring Boba Fett back. In the original or the subbed version, if you will, Boba Fett is going to be voiced by Akio Kaneda, and in the dubbed version in English, Tomar Morrison is going to reprise the voice. So very exciting stuff indeed, and I will be reviewing Star Wars Visions here on the channel. So as I say guys, if you're not subscribed, please please be sure to. So we're just going to go back to the Mandalorian quickly because I want to speak about something I touched upon in yesterday's video. I spoke about the recent Katie Sackhoff interview where she talked about some unfinished business to do with the Darksaber and something she spoke about was Rosario Dawson and how she looks up to her and when she was asked if she's going to reunite with Ahsoka but this time in live action, she did leave it quite vague and said maybe one of these days. But it did get me thinking, Bo-Katan is a character who might not only appear in the Mandalorian, I mean obviously she's going to be a huge role in season 3, but what about the possibility of an appearance in other shows like Star Wars Ahsoka or even The Book of Boba Fett? This is all just speculation guys, not a rumour, not a leak, just some fun theorising. And it got me thinking about that recent report that we spoke about that there could be other Mandalorians in The Book of Boba. If other Mandos are set to appear, then could Bo-Katan show up with Koska Reeves and Axe Woves? Given the tension and conflicts that we saw in Chapter 16 between Bo-Katan, Koska and Boba, it would definitely make for an interesting confrontation once again. But as I say, I'm just speculating. But let's now see what Screen Rant had to say about potentially Bo-Katan reuniting with Ahsoka. Katie Sackhoff, the actress behind Bo-Katan in The Mandalorian, Clone Wars and Rebels, is hoping for a reunion between Bo-Katan Kreese and Ahsoka Tano. With the series reintroducing both characters last season, the fan favourite warriors were seen in live action for the first time. And with Disney Plus launching a number of other Star Wars projects in the next couple of years which are going to tie in, the team up could just happen. Both Bo Bo-Katan Kreese and Ahsoka Tano were introduced for the first time in the Clone Wars. While it is true that Ahsoka saw more screen time as audiences followed her journey as Anakin's Padawan and her exit from the Jedi Order, 
Bo-Katan's story defending Mandalore alongside her sister and Obi-Wan Kenobi was arguably just as captivating. The last time the pair were seen together in the Clone Wars was in the closing episodes of the series, where they worked together to repel Darth Maul and his forces from Mandalore in the closing days of the war. But before making their way into live action, they were also seen in Rebels. Ahsoka is now set to get her own solo series on Disney+, Plus and may even appear in The Mandalorian Season 3, which could be a good setting for a reunion between Bo-Katan and her. And with Bo being able to guide Din Djarin towards Ahsoka in Season 2, it seems pretty clear that the characters have kept in touch over the years. Of course, with Bo-Katan needing to face off against Din Djarin to claim the Darksaber, and Ahsoka being an ally of the Mando, there is always the possibility that Bo-Katan and Ahsoka's reunion could be as adversaries. No matter what though, it's an exciting time for fans of The Clone Wars and The Mandalorian. The only real fear at this time is that Disney might be pushing too much content at once, but as long as the creative juices are not watered down, everything is fine. And I do think Screen Rant have a point about the Ahsoka series, Bo-Katan could definitely feature in that one. Especially with all of the recent rumours that Sabine Wren is currently being cast, it might not only be a reunion for Bo-Katan and Ahsoka, but also for Bo-Katan and Sabine Wren, so that would be very interesting to see. And as I've said time and time again on the channel, when it comes to Ahsoka, we know that she's after Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ezra Bridger, but we don't know anything else about the series. Now, while that is a huge plot in and of itself, there could be other subplots which tie into other parts of the Star Wars universe. So I can't see why Bo-Katan couldn't appear in that series, or as Screen Rant theorises, Ahsoka could even be back in The Mandalorian Season 3. She had one episode in The Mandalorian Season 2, Chapter 13, The Jedi, which was absolutely amazing. I just hope we get some more Ahsoka live action screen time before the Ahsoka series, because it is quite a while away. We're talking about 2023 at the very earliest. So those are my thoughts on the issue, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But otherwise, my dear friends, that brings us to the end of today's news update. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. As I said, please do subscribe, hit that notification bell, and down there in the description, you'll also find my Patreon. And on there, you get exclusive videos that are not found here on YouTube. You also get exclusive artwork, video previews, early releases, and most of all, you get access to my Discord server. It's a very fun place. You can chat with me and the other Megalorians. But otherwise, my dear friends, may the force be with you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow.